I'm inside and I saw Scooby-Doo. Where are you? Episode 10, Bedlam in the Big Top. It is produced by Hannah Barbera. And if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This review is sponsored by the link tree. You can check that out after the review. The episode starts, we're seeing two guys, a strong boy and a short boy riding a bike. It breaks in half. I find this to be very interesting, the name of the short boy. Uh, it's very dated. Uh, he calls himself a midget. Like he calls himself that, okay? I'm only saying it because he calls himself that. Uh, I, I wouldn't use this term normally, okay? I just I just want to point this out. We also have Strongman as well. So these two are riding a, a tandem bicycle, which I find to be pretty cool. But they get spooked by the mystery gang. Uh-oh, also they're spooked by a ghost that was haunting their circus. That's no good. The mystery gang has to look into this. I really like how they look into this, so they go to the circus, Scooby uh, walks off and is like, okay, I'm gonna go investigate. I'm gonna go look for some food. Uh, that's definitely probably what he's doing actually. So he's looking and there's this clown. There's this red and black clown. He's pretty cool. I like how he's using this cold coin and he's hypnotizing Scooby. He's pretty, uh, he's a pretty cool guy. You know, he's a cool guy in terms of like being able to hypnotize people and use them to do whatever. Like you have Scooby balancing the the beam, the tightrope, I mean, not the beam, the tightrope. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do that. Also, Scooby gets untranced, then he falls. And then you have Scooby and Daphne. They're doing a big old, uh, big old uh, jump. Also, also, it's interesting. There are several times where this clown is messing with the rest of the Scooby gang. Like, for example, I really like uh, how Daphne gets hypnotized. She gets hypnotized to do like unicycling and like this cute little ballerina dress or something. I, it's so cute. She's, <laughs> she's wearing like the cutest thing ever. I absolutely love it. But then there's also Shaggy. He also gets hypnotized and he's hypnotized to be a lion tamer. I find this to be hilarious. He's just like poking his chair at them and be like, pew, pew, be good cats. It's okay, be good. And it's like, oh boy, dude, what is going on here? What is this clown? He's a hypnotist? No one was telling me we're dealing with hypnotist clowns. Also Fred gets uh, pushed into a closet or a closet. What's the standing closet called? It's not a closet, it's a dresser, but not actually. Man, I don't know what they're called. You just open them up and then bam, about a bunch of clothes. No drawers, organization or anything, just plain old hangers. Good old fashioned style. So Fred, it's like, oh boy, hmm, what's happening? Also Velma. She comes in clutch in this episode. She's like, hmm, what is all this strange occurrence is happening? Uh, turns out the clown was an inflatable guy. He's an inflatable dude. He's inflatable. He's just like, oh, so that's why there's like no dude behind it. It's just this inflatable clown. It's like, oh boy, I hope whoever is responsible gets arrested. <sighs> well, he gets arrested. That's pretty great. I'm glad. I'm glad that Velma comes in clutch to save the day, to save Scooby and Shaggy's butt. Daphne's cool. Uh, Daphne doesn't really seem to be the type to intuitively try to look for. You got anything else to talk about? Mm. This uh, 20 minute episode is uh, pretty fun. Definitely a lot of uh, Scooby and gang jumping uh, trying to run away from the guy, but in the end they catch him. That's pretty nice. I like, I like the little journey of it all. I also like how Scooby, being Scooby, gets hypnotized first. And interesting enough, Shaggy gets hypnotized last. I don't know. I, I found this to be kind of cool actually. I gotta give this episode like a, a, a 6.7 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. 
YouTube really likes that. You can also like, comment, subscribe, share the video with everyone you know. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer. So if I have a review on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. If you'd like to request a movie in the comments below, you can do that. Or you can fast track a movie review request at patreon.com slash present $20 a month for one movie review per one month or $3 a month for how to draw Pokemon tutorials and 250 vlogs that are up there right now. Patreon.com slash presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness, all these daily move reviews, you can go to this link tree. Uh, my fans least free to follow, it really helps the daily grindiness. Go here. And until next time I'm in Salsa, I'll see you later my sad croutons and bacon bits.